I am always in the quest of learning and testing out new techniques to generate data sets. Data sets are the secret sauce of a great model. If you fine tune or train your model on a quality data set, there is every chance that your model will be of very high quality and vice versa. That is why this new tool Magpie which enables us to generate instruction fine tuning data from Llama 3 Instruct is quite interesting. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will also do a quick demo. Before that, let me give you a quick overview of this project as it seems very interesting. We all can agree that high quality instruction data is critical for aligning LLMs. Some models such as Llama 3 Instruct have open weights, their alignment data remains private, which hinders the de democratization of AI. High human labor costs and a limited predefined scope of prompting prevent existing open source data creation methods from scaling effectively, potentially limiting the diversity and quality of public alignment data set. So the question is that is it possible to synthesize high quality instruction data at scale by extracting it directly from an aligned LLM? I hope that you are getting my point that because Lama 3's model has been trained on that data. What if we just extract the data set of that model? That is where this project, which is a self-synthesis method for generating large-scale alignment data named Magpie, comes very handy. One key observation is that aligned LLMs like Llama 3 Instruct can generate a user query when we input only the left side templates up to position reserved for user messages thanks to their autoregressive nature. And they have used this method to prompt Llama 3 Instruct and generate 4 million instructions along with their corresponding responses. And they have already done comprehensive analysis for the extracted data and select 300k high quality instances. So let's go and try to get it installed and see how it works. Before I show you that, let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I'm using for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, you can access their website from the link in video's description. Plus you can also get a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is a VM which I'm talking about Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's git clone the repo of Magpie. And that is very quickly done. Let's cd2 in this directory. And then I'm just going to create a conda environment to keep everything nice, simple and separate. We are just calling it Magpie. Let's wait for it to finish. And then we are going to activate it. Just press Y here. And that should be done fairly quickly. Done. Let's activate it. And you will see in the parenthesis on the left hand side. Let's clear the screen and let's install all the requirements. Let's wait for it to get installed. All the requirements are done and it has installed a lot of stuff by the way. Okay, next we need to log into Hugging Face CLI. Here you would need to enter your token and you can get your token from huggingface.co. I already have it. So let me paste it here. And the reason why we are using it because we are using Llama 3, which is a gated model. Okay, so it says my token is not correct. It has expired. So let me grab another token. And let me also show you how to grab the token. So I'm at Hugging Face website. On the top right, click on your profile go to settings, go to access tokens, and then um, there are a few of the tokens. So instead of doing that, I'll just go with a new token. I'm just going to call it test token. And then read, generate a token, and this is my token. And I'm going to delete it after I'm done with this video. So let me go back to the terminal. And from here, I'm just going to clear my screen and then put my token again and then press y here and then press enter 
and this time the login is successful okay let's clear the screen so our login is done and now let me fire up my python interpreter and then import these libraries which we have just installed including transformers pytorch json and all that stuff and that is done let's specify our base model which we are using llama 3 8 billion instruct and then let's grab the tokenizer out of it tokenizer is small that is done and now let's grab the model with the pipeline from hugging face and pipeline makes it easy to grab the model and the CUDA means that it is offloading it to GPU and it has started downloading the model there are four tensors of this model and I believe each tens uh, shard size is around 5 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded model is downloaded now and let's load our config and I'm just using the config from their github repo let's do it and that is done you can also specify the terminators here for the tokens and then let's get our instructions from the pipeline and i'm just specifying the model and stuff okay so we just need to define that extract input let me quickly do that okay let me paste it properly let me clear the screen too and this shows how quickly the things are changing um i just checked and it seems they have change their model config in their github repo so this doesn't work anymore and i spent like two hours on it so let's not go with this one then i'm just going to go exit and we will do the batch generation so let me clear the screen now if you do the ls ltr on their repo they have this uh, scripts directory so let's go into that one sorry let me cd to that scripts one and then if you do ls here let's do it properly you will see they have provided a lot of scripts for all the models so we were more interested in the mac by llama 3 8 billion because this is the one which we have been using so for that one we don't need to worry too much let's um, make sure that we run this magpy.sh and for that we would need to make it executable so i'm just going to go and say plus x magpy maybe i'll just say uh, make all of them executable that is good because you see there is no x here so that is done let's clear the screen let's check it that all of them have been converted to executable that is correct okay so now in order to run it you can either run with bash and magpy.sh and it is going to start the batch generation of data set out of your model locally so let me do it and you see that it has started generating it it is using the model weights and if i just scroll up this is where it started so you see it says total prompt thousand this is the model llama 38 billion it is using and then there is some time step it has started the job and now it is going through um, all the blocks so let's wait for it to finish it is processing the prompts it is doing the fourth batch at the moment and 80 percent is done and there you and there you go it finished you see final data set saved checkpoint removed and it has also finished generating the responses how good is that and both the instructions and responses the resultant one will be in the data directory so if you do ls on the root of this repo you will see there is a data directory if you do ls here you will see that there is this uh, data concatenation notebook plus you can check this Meta Lama 3 so and it will be as per your own model which you have done and if you do ls here there should be a couple of files you see there is this json file response file so for example if i do the first one this will be the instruction and these are the instructions you see which it has 
got from the llama 3 and if i do control c here clear the screen show you the response to let me print the response now and this is the response of the instruction so this is the instruction and there you there is your response so you have your instruction response data set already you can fine tune your own model on this data set just extract it with any normal json or even use it and you can have the same model as llama 3 how good is that how amazing is that and lastly if you want to check the log as what happened which we saw on the terminal you can simple run this log which is showing that how the job started and what it did how many prompts did it use and if there were any errors or any issues i don't see anything good stuff so real amazing amazing stuff and i'm uh, quite excited about this project i will drop the link to its github repo in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching